Hello everyone, Brian Begley here from InCloud9 with another Dynamics 365 sales video. Today, we are gonna talk about address suggestions on the accounts, leads, and contact forms, as well as Bing Maps. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. It really does help us out. So now let's get started. Now, first off, to make these changes, you're going to need to have system administrator or system customizer security role. So if you don't have these security roles, assigned to you, please forward this video to whomever manages your Dynamics 365. Now, when you're looking at a CRM form, you're probably used to looking at your address like this, where every element of the address is on a separate field. So we have a street one, a street two, a street three, city, state, zip, or postal code. For about the last two years, however, if you make a couple of small changes to your CRM, you could be able to have an autofill feature and you'd be able to have big maps to show you where the address is located at. Let me show you how to get that done right now. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to open up Power Platform Environment Settings app. When we do that, we will go down to the Administration section underneath System. We'll look for the General section and then we will look for the setting called Enable Bing Maps. Now that's the first thing we need to do. We'll click on Save. It's gonna make some changes to our environment. And then I need to switch back to the Sales Hub. So I'm gonna go back to my Sales Hub right now. And when I'm in the Sales Hub, I'm gonna go down to the bottom section down here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna to go to App Settings. And I wanna to go to General Settings, Productivity Tools. When I get here, I want to enable address suggestions. It's the fourth item in this list. I simply have to click on yes and click save. And then I'm going to click on to go back to my sales hub main page. Now, before the changes will go into effect, I do need to do a refresh of Dynamics 365. So I'm going to refresh my browser. And when I refresh my browser, I'm going to open up an account record. Let's go back to a datum. When I open up the form for a datum, it's going to show the address control and it's going to show me now that the map has been activated and I can see here exactly where this location is in Washington State. I'm going to refresh one more time. I still see that I have my old address fields that have always been there, but I also have this new control that's much smaller and shows my address on three separate lines with a pencil. And if I click on that pencil, I can make edits to the address there. For example, I can put in a suite number and I'll click done. And now that address line has the suite number added to it. I also have a map from Bing that shows me where this location is on a map. And I can click on Get Directions and it will open up a page in Microsoft Bing that I can get directions and find information about that location. Very helpful if I'm going on the road and want to be able to see the directions. This also works from within the mobile app as well. But if I want to get rid of this address section here, what I need to do is go back to the account form. So I'm back in make.powerapps.com. I've opened up the account form. I have my address section here. I click on the hide checkbox on the properties and I'm gonna save and publish those changes. I'm gonna go back to my sales hub do a refresh. And when I refresh my screen in the sales hub, we have the new address control showing and then the map just below it. We don't see the old section with all the different address fields. Let's show how we can create a new account record and how the address control starts looking up your addresses for you. We click on the new field. I'm gonna start typing an address here. So let's start. I'm gonna start typing in some numbers and I'll go 5104. And it starts looking for addresses right around where I live. So I live in Nebraska and it starts looking for any street address that has a 5104 that's near where I am located. If I put a five after that, it'll start expanding the search even further and it finds 51045s in Glenwood, Iowa, Mineola, Iowa, and a couple in Indiana. I'll take this one in Middlebury, Indiana, 51045 Greenfield Parkway. Here's my map of the location. And if I just click on my company name, I can save this record. And that's how easy it is to use the address suggestions feature in Dynamics 365. You could take this address feature for auto suggestions and you can make the same changes that we have made on the account form and make them in the lead and the contact forms as well so that the address auto suggest is showing up on each one of those forms. Finally, there are ways that 
that you can take these address auto suggest controls and add them to quick create forms or you can add second addresses to the forms themselves but you can't do them like you normally would in the account form editor or in the form editor so i will include a link in the description to this video as well as in the blog that we create for this video that will take you to some really nice articles out on the web that have been developed to show how to add these auto suggestion lookups to other forms like quick create forms or to add a second address so that's all i have for today we hope you've learned something that you start using autocomplete addresses on your records in dynamics 365 if you do have any questions please feel free to reach out to us leave a comment subscribe or like this video and we'll talk to you soon bye bye